quality. Okay, and, and I found out that you know there is a an organism actually that that can survive forever. Okay, it may not be forever, but there's a research that it can actually has a perpetual existence. Of course, it's not human. And you know what that is? These are crustaceans. Some are crustaceans. Okay, when they are exposed to a stressful environment. Okay, or even people exposed to a stressful environment, we protect ourselves. Okay, our body dies um, protecting parts of our body. Okay, like the exoskeleton protects itself so that when the environment is no longer uh, bearable, they're going to leave their skin, they're going to leave their body and live another, a new life. Okay, live a new life. So I think that similar applies to human being. No, if we cannot, if if we are exposed to extreme pressure of stress, our body dies eventually. Okay, the our body will also replicate to protect it. But instead of hundred percent replication of what has been damaged, it decreases eventually. It decreases eventually. To the extent that it no longer protects itself and eventually dies. Okay? Alright. You should know a little of everything. Do not die in ignorance. Um, it's a disaster when you die in ignorance. There are many things to learn. Okay? It's not about earning money that makes you happy. There are things that uh, other people might be happy and that is knowledge. Okay? knowledge you can share what you learn that's why i am spending most of my time vacant time as if i am now retired to go to the province to, ex to explain to them what they know as what, what they know which i think i know is wrong so i have to correct them really literally i have to correct them okay because we cannot change society unless we go back to where we come from and tell them that what you know is wrong okay so it's my legacy now. I have to tell them that they are wrong and they have to believe me that I am correct by simply reading everything I know and then go go back to them, explain to them what I know. If they say something and then I know it's wrong, I'll tell them blatantly, you're wrong. That's not, okay? But it, it's done in, 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 a, in a manner that they will not be offended. Okay? So, so I, so I, I think you agree with me on what I said that, you know, there's a secret to immortality and what is that? Stress-free. Okay? In my case, I've been practicing it most of my time if I am I am stressed in this kind of job. So what I do, uh, Friday, Saturday, or even Sunday, I'll go to the province. I had my, I had already my house there in preparation of my retirement. Okay? So, good for you. you. You are already there. You are there where you should be. Okay? That is your home court advantage. Do not go somewhere else. Okay? Just study the um, the environment there and try to live. Okay? Do not go somewhere else. You are not accustomed to the place where you will go. It's not designed for you. Okay? So, in fact, right now, I want you to read an article which I, I write no, about election, okay? Uh, most of the time, what I've said, okay, most of our election, we choose people, no, not because of what they know, but simply because these are the people who help you during election, okay? So, there's a, still 30 minutes, I want you to read my article, write my name, and then in, in Google, and comment on, comment on, on what we discussed and that article that I wrote, write my name, Glenn Belmonte, and and analysis of Philippine election. Okay, my article will appear appear there, and write a few comments, just few comments, enough for you to answer in thirty minutes. In fact, just read it and make comment um, in relation to our discussion today. Katong ako gisulti. Okay. So that also serves as your attendance. Can you make it in 30 minutes or you need an hour? <laughs>